back performance. Welcome to our weekly live. This week we are going to be going over how to tape. I'm going to make sure I have my live up so I can see who is on and watching with us this evening. There it is. I'm just going to get that turned that way. Make sure I can see comments. Perfect. So welcome to the live. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Melissa McDonald. I'm a sports chiropractor here in the Twin Cities. And I feel like I need to say that tonight because in the last day after I posted on Facebook, I have gotten 161 new likes to the page. And I want to say thank you and welcome to Mac Performance. I hope tonight you are able to get something out of it. I want to make sure that I'm providing you with resources to help yourself at home and make sure you're being able to take care of yourself. So we're going to talk about tape. Tape is commonly seen and utilized across a variety of different sports, whether it be for performance or stability or injury prevention. And there are some things you can do at home to help yourself get taken care of. I want to make sure I see we have some people with us. Hello, hello. So we need to go over the different types of tape. What type of tape is there? The most common tape that most people think of in the world of athletics and these, these taping techniques can be used for non-athletic people. This is really just something to help support and or add some external awareness so some proprioception to the joint area, which can help alleviate pain. And the first tape is white athletic tape, simple white athletic tape. It is non-stretchy, easily tears, and is commonly used for wrists and thumbs and even ankle tapes. Granted, research is out on whether this actually provides help. Uh, current study shows that after this hasn't been applied, the stability actually is completely gone after about 15 minutes, but when someone swears by it and this is how they've always played, I'm not gonna argue with them on that day. I'm just gonna tape their ankle and make them happy. What we think it might be doing is actually adding some proprioception. These are usually combined with pre-wrap just to protect the skin. Another type of tape might be like a Coflex which is simply, if you've ever had your blood taken or donated blood, is what they utilize. It has no adhesive, it just sticks to itself. And then the final tape, which is what we're gonna be mainly talking about tonight, is our kinesiology tape. Now, this really became popular when it started showing up in the Olympics, specifically in the beach volleyball scene, scene simply because you can readily see it and they were heavily taping the shoulders of the athletes. So we're going to go over some simple ways you can utilize this since you can now buy it at most pharmacies, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, pretty much wherever they have a first aid supplies. You can buy this tape. It is a stretchy tape. There's no way to tear it. So the only way to separate it is to cut it. It is one directional stretch, meaning when you separate the tape with the paper on the back, it'll only stretch this way. There's no stretch horizontally, and it's a fabric tape. Now, this tape can cause allergic reactions on the skin if you've ever reacted to like a Band-Aid or some form of adhesive. So before you use it, make sure you put down a test strip just to see what happens. Generally, if you haven't had a reaction within 20 or 30 minutes, you're good to go. There are about 15 different companies that make kinesiology tape. I don't personally have a favorite. Whatever will stick, whatever preference my athlete has or the person I'm applying it to or whatever I have on hand or have been given for free is the tape I'm going to use. So this is just a simple Mueller blue kinesiology tape. Um, it has a squiggly adhesive to help it uh, just conform to the muscles a little easier. 
and let's go over some techniques. So the three big areas of the body we're going to show is shoulder, low back, and knee. Now, this is not you acutely injure yourself and you're taping yourself to try to get back to anything. No, 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 no. This is I'm feeling a little achy stiff and I want to keep being active and it's just not feeling quite right. No real pain. It's just not. Then this is a great use for that tape just to kind of help provide you some additional feeling to that area, which can reduce some of the discomfort. So I'm going to bring our ever favorite model in to show some of the taping on. And I apologize. He's Scottish. So if you need to put sunglasses on, I totally understand. <laughs> I know I should be nicer to him. I should be. Let's see, is there a difference between store bot or medical supply bot? Uh, Travis, honestly, no, there really isn't a difference in tape quality at this time, especially with um, KT tape is commonly found in Walmart and you can get the extremes. There really is no difference. The only tape that I have found to have significant difference is dynamic tape and just gonna grab dynamic tape has this really fantastic aboriginal pattern it's a completely different tape it's a biomechanical tape that one actually requires certifications to apply because you can hurt people with it i personally have been certified in it and i've still screwed it up and caused skin damage and skin pain and blistering that is beyond an allergic reaction it is simply just damage to the skin so it takes a little finessing to actually apply it appropriately. So for our first tape, we're going to measure the tape for where we're going to apply it. We're going to work on our shoulder. I'm going to have him place his arm on his opposite shoulder. When we're applying kinesiology tape, we want to keep it on a lengthened muscle. This way, when it comes back to neutral, it's completely relaxed and actually crumples up and provides additional proprioceptive support. So we're going to measure from about the mid way on the shoulder blade to the top of that deltoid muscle. And we're going to cut the tape. Now, instead of measuring that twice, I'm just going to cut two strips of equal length. One for the front, one for the back. Now to keep the tape on longer. So this tape can be left on for three to five days with no issues, no problem with showering. One thing I will tell you, don't take a blow dryer to it. It is a heat activated adhesive, meaning if you take a blow dryer to it and actually dry it with that, you can activate the heat of the adhesive and permanently adhere it to your skin. That's not good. So you pat it dry with a towel, now, we're gonna cut and round the corners of the tape. This is gonna help it stay on a little longer so it doesn't catch as much. So I've just simply rounded the corners. I folded it over and did it all at once because I'm lazy. I don't like to individually cut it. Now, we wanna make sure that we have the area cleaned off, simply meaning they're not sweaty, they're not dirty. You don't wanna take like rubbing alcohol to the area that can actually make the tape not stick as well. You need some of the natural oils. You can also use like a uh, second skin or an adhesive helper to kind of make it a little more sticky to help it stick, especially if you're dealing with a sweaty hockey player with all their gear, it sometimes will rub off. So you might need to use some extra adhesive helper to get it to stick. So first things first, we're going to tear and create an anchor. I'm going to fold back the pieces of the tape just so I have little tabs. This way I don't have to touch it. I'm then going to stick the tape, pull up the shirt, slide the tab down, and apply my first anchor. I'm then gonna take the tape with a little, about quarter, 25% stretch, and then lay it down with no stretch on the anchor. I'm then gonna take the wrapper and simply rub that down 
to help it stick. I'm going to have you, the next position I'm going to have him do is wrap his arm behind his back. Oh, good. Your shoulder movement's great. I'm going to fold this over. Again, stick it, lay it down. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you have someone that is of the fuzzier variety, you'll need to potentially uh, landscape the area so that the tape will actually stick. Just gonna throw that out there. You'll then lay that down. And this creates a nice X pattern. Now, whoops. The third piece is where you get to have a little fun. Typically, I will lay it across the top, right across the top of our AC joint, the acromial cavicular joint. So I'm gonna take a piece, about six inches, nothing too specific. Make sure I haven't missed any comments. There we go. Again, rounding the corners. Now this one I'm gonna tear right in the middle of the tape. Make sure it's all nice and exposed. Pull that over the top trying to have the ends not end on another piece of tape. Again, that's just to help it stay. So that's your basic kind of shoulder support tape. Then when he relaxes, some of the tape back here crumple, crinkles a little bit, some of the tape up here crinkles, and it just kind of helps provide some support. Really simple application. Now that third strip you could apply right across the front here, that sometimes doesn't work as well because it'll get caught in some of the skin folds and pre prevent some of the movement. So this gives you the most range of movement of your shoulder and allows you to kind of keep up with it. Now, just gonna make sure I have my live up to date. Oh no, I'm losing my live contact. I don't know what you guys are saying, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. We are up to date. Technology, don't fail me now. Okay, now I'm gonna have him flip his knee up onto a chair. I'm gonna go over how to do a basic knee tape. Now, a lot of times for our knees, we wanna make sure that we're kind of taking care of something called patellofemoral pain syndrome. That simply means the kneecap is not moving well in this area and it can cause pain at the base. It can cause some pain on the outside and the inside. It's kind of this funny pain that kind of moves around, generally achy, can get worse with running. So this is a good tape to help that. So again, we're gonna measure from the top to the bottom, we're gonna cut two pieces of about equal size. Then we're gonna round our corners again. And now, again, if you have someone that has overly furry legs, you might have to do some landscaping just to make sure. We're going to apply the tape right at the end of the kneecap, wrap it around to the top, making a little C. We're then gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then if you have specific point where there is pain, where'd I put the tape? Oh. If you have a specific place where you have pain, so maybe it's at the top, maybe it's at the bottom, you can put another one of what we would call those decompression strips. So again, about six inch strip, round our corners, 
We're gonna pull it right into the middle. We're gonna lay it across either the bottom of the kneecap or the top of the kneecap. Stretch and make sure the ends end off the other tape. So three simple pieces. We're kind of just creating a picture frame around our kneecap. The kneecap should be free floating and none of the tape should actually touch the kneecap because if you add that extra pressure around it, you can actually make the knee pain worse by having that patella grind more. So you wanna make sure that none of the tape touches the kneecap, it all just frames it out and it just kind of helps offload the area. So that's our basic knee tape. All right. Now, I'm gonna have you spin around. The last tape we're gonna do is our low back tape. Now, I apologize, we tried every form of lighting. Oh, it's not that bad. It's not as bad this time. So we're gonna apply the low back. We're going to, again, have him on stretch. So we're gonna have him lean forward. We're gonna measure from the base of the, um, basically sacroiliac joint, base of the spine here, and we're gonna do a cross up to the bottom rib cage. We're gonna cut two pieces of tape. You could simply do tape straight up the middle of the back. I prefer the cross pattern. Is there a better way? It doesn't matter. It's whatever both person your taping preference and the taper's preference. I feel like the cross feels a little bit better or the X feels a little bit better when I have it done to me than just having the strips up the middle of the back. But again, that's personal preference. So we're going to create our little tabs. Now this is where I'm gonna tell you, this is the pro tip. Start at the bottom and go to the top. Cause you have a lot of room to work with up here. If you start up here and you have a lot of excess tape coming down here, not as good. So I like to put the tape right at the bottom of the pant Simply slide it down, stick it on, then walk the tape up, end it up there, then rubbing it in. Do the same thing on the other side. One side's a little wonky, but it crosses in the middle. Now again, this tape can be left on for three to five days. It is completely okay to shower with it on. If you start feeling itchy after about 20, 30 minutes, that could be indications you're having an allergic reaction and need to immediately remove it. After about three to five days, it will become itchy because there's still all the dead skin cells building up underneath it and sweat. So that can cause some itching. That's not an allergic reaction though. It's really that reaction within the first 20, 30 minutes of having the tape on that we're more concerned with. Mm -hmm. So those are the three areas of tape that I plan to cover. Is there anything else people have Questions on? Rachel, no. I know this was just kind of a fun spur to the moment. Let's get in there. Let's give you some practical skills you can use. If you're watching this live, make sure you let me know you're here. Hashtag live. If you're watching it on replay, hashtag replay. Does anybody have any questions? Let's see, I have, I see Rachel and Jake and Travis and Maria and Megan, welcome tonight. It's good to have you. I know I saw some other people popping in and out. 
I will tell you that we do have a creeper in the background right there. You can see the little teal chew toy. It's the cat. He always has to be involved. Oop, I see Todd's on. Welcome. Yes, I did talk a little bit about dynamic tape, but that is way too complicated for just too easy to injure. All right. Is there an absolute wrong way to tape such as a kneecap thing you mentioned? So is there a way to apply the tape that could be harmful? Always yes, potentially. Uh, like I said in the beginning, this tape does have some stretch to it. So if you are to put it on 100% stretch, you could increase the skin reaction, increase the skin damage, and cause some more issues. You also have to think about where you're applying the tape. There are areas that have a higher risk for reaction. So our uh, inside of our elbows, back of our knees where the skin's a little bit softer. Uh, and again, anywhere there is excessive hair is gonna be a more challenging area to tape. Ultimately, it's pretty hard to hurt yourself with this style of taping. Make sure you're not uh, cutting off any circulation by applying the tape too tightly, doing a roundabout white tape. You can cut yourself on the edges with the tape if it's applied too tightly in certain areas, which is why this takes a little bit of skill, especially around the ankles. Wrists are pretty simple with it, but I thought the shoulder, the knee, and the low back with the kinesiology would provide you with the most benefit for at home and at home taking care of yourself. Do we have any other questions? Because I'm so happy to see everyone here at our weekly live. I know we're doing it a little bit in a unique area or the past month we've been doing it at home here uh, instead of at the office following appropriate social distancing rules. Granted, we are still open. I have just modified the schedule to help keep appropriate social distancing and give myself time to clean. So if you're in the Twin Cities area and are in emergent need for care, please feel free to hit us up. If you're in Minnesota or Michigan at a distance and you just need some home rehab exercises, we are happy to take care of you using telemedicine. And we just wanna make sure I want you guys taken care of. So. If we don't have any more questions, I will let you go tonight. Remember, if you have any topics you wanna to go over, anything at all that's happening to you that you have a question on, please comment below or private message the clinic and we'll happily work that in and try to get that covered for you so that you can get yourself taken care of and get yourself better. So. Thank you everyone for joining me this evening and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And remember with mobility, agility, chiropractic performance, we're always trying to get you better faster, keep you better longer because no one has time to be sidelined. Have a wonderful evening. To keep up to date with future content, please click subscribe. Additional information is found in the description of this video. All information content material of this video is for information purposes only and are not intended to serve as a substitute for the consultation, diagnosis, and or medical treatment of a qualified physician or healthcare provider.